In this video, we'll count the number of atoms in Ca3PO32. This is calcium phosphite. The first thing we'll do, we'll write the element symbols. We have calcium, phosphorus, and then we have oxygen. So for the calcium, there's a three as the subscript. That means we have three calcium atoms. For the phosphorus and the oxygen, we need to be a little bit careful because this two here applies to everything inside the parentheses. So we have it's not written, we assume there to be a 1 after the phosphorus, 2 times 1, 2 phosphorus atoms, and then 2 times 3 for the oxygen. So if we add this all up, 3 plus 2 plus 6, 11 total atoms for Ca3PO32, calcium phosphite. Sometimes you're asked to find the number of atoms, say calcium atoms, in one mole of calcium phosphite. If you need to find the number of calcium atoms in one mole of calcium phosphite, you'll take the number of calcium atoms, that's 3, and you'll multiply that by Avogadro's number. So 3 times Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, that would give you the number of calcium atoms in one mole of calcium phosphite. For the phosphorus, you'd multiply the two phosphorus atoms by Avogadro's number. And then for oxygen, you'd multiply those six oxygen atoms by Avogadro's number again, and that would give you the number of oxygen atoms in calcium phosphite. Occasionally, you'll be asked how many phosphite ions there are in calcium phosphite. Phosphite ion, that's PO3, 3 minus. There are two phosphite ions in calcium phosphite. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.